Hey everyone, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and we're live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube. Okay. And I need you to get into the chat a whole bunch of things. I want to hear if you were on the webinar last night. We stayed on together. I stayed on. There were several hundred people that stayed on for all, what was it? Four and a half hours till 1130 Eastern ish. That means I did three hours of Q and A uh, and my voice is um, letting me know that this morning I woke up kind of without a voice. I seem to have revived it with copious amounts of gargling with hot salt water and apple cider vinegar and Listerine. Um, we will see how long my voice lasts right now. My energy feels okay, but my voice is just shot. So um, we're going to see how I do here and I'm going to do my best to answer your questions. But I'm also just, I'm excited to be with you and we've we've opened up a question box on Instagram. So we have a few questions already that people have submitted. Thank you, Instagrammers, for that. And if you're joining me live on whatever platform you are, YouTube or any of the other platforms, um, please put into the comment thread um, so I can see it where you are in the world, uh, whether you've already registered for Bootcamp 2.0 or whether you're considering it, if there's any questions I can ask to help you make your decision. I'm not in the convincing business. I will not uh, necessarily err on the side of thinking it's the right thing for you to do. If you have a like, should I, shouldn't I kind of torture going on, I always say the fence is not a comfortable place to sit. <laughs> not comfy. So uh, let me know and I'm happy to think it through with you. Um, or provide more information if you need. If you have a question about the about Brightline Eating or about the boot camp, I'm happy to help you. Registration does close on Friday night. We're going to be doing an extended Q and A closing party. We've never done this before. A registration closing party together on Friday night between six and nine p.m. Eastern. And then when we shut that down at nine p.m. sharp, registration will close. That is it. So nine uh, nine p.m. Eastern. So if you're on Pacific time, just know registration closes at 6 p.m. on Friday. Um, Leanne Knight says, yes, I was on the webinar, but could, still, could not stay up that late. I hear you, Leanne. It was very late for me as well. I hear you. I'm so glad you were there. Uh, Marianne Lutz says, I was on the webinar, but I left around 930. Feel better, Susan. Thank you, Marianne. I, I'm, I will try. Doing all the right things to take care of myself. Michelle Day says, yes, I stayed until the end. I need to enroll in boot camp today. Michelle Day, you stayed until the end. You're enrolling in boot camp today. I'm curious about the language. Need to enroll in boot camp today. It sounds like there's maybe some impetus that you need, some support that you need to take the action that you've already decided to take. Is that, is that, I mean, am I reading into that right? If so, would it help if I told you register for it now? Like right now, why not? Right? If you have fear of missing out of this YouTube live, then maybe do you want to commit to registering for it the minute the YouTube live ends. Here's a here's a trick that I use a lot. It's the if this, then that mental promise. And I it's it, it works because it sets up a cue, an antecedent cue for the behavior that I want to perform. If this, then that. So the way you would be thinking that is if the YouTube live has ended, then I'm enrolling in boot camp. If the YouTube live has ended, then right now I'm enrolling in boot camp. And what you could do right now to support yourself with that is go find the link and open it on a laptop, a, an iPad, a, a desktop. Go find the link to register so that it, the form to fill out is right there. Like go open it up right there. So it'll be there for you to register. If the YouTube live has ended, then I'm filling out that registration form. So just some thoughts. But anyway, however you manage to do it, those are just my thoughts, just rambling here. But uh, however you manage to do it today, Michelle, welcome to the Brightline Eating Bootcamp. You're in the right place. So sweet. Um, Wendy Marie says, hi, Susan, I have a question. Could you do bootcamp and reboot resume? I'm a lifer. You know, someone asked me that last night and um, I I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. I think in the past I've said, hey, if you're retired, you're not working, you got no kids living at home with you, 
You got plenty of time on your hands. Why not? I sort of feel differently about it now. I feel like either one of those courses is a complete transformation experience. And to grow and develop requires not just input, but also space and time for reflection, for really pondering what you're learning, for allowing yourself to change. Um, I think it was Henry David Thoreau who said that the soul grows not by addition, but by subtraction. The soul grows not by addition, but by subtraction. I wouldn't do both of those courses. And just to make it easier for you, Wendy, um, let me just answer the question of which one you should do. You're a bright lifer. Um, if you've never done boot camp 2.0 completely and wholeheartedly, then do that. If you have done boot camp 2.0 all the way through completely and wholeheartedly, then do reboot resume. So hopefully that helps you make your decision. Great question. And I love your eagerness. I love it. I love it. Rita Holmfist, Holmfist says, Sweden here. Sweden. Hi, Rita in Sweden. Doing boot camp 2.0 for real this time. Lovey smiley face. Oh, Rita. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. Welcome and congratulations for having made the decision to really do boot camp completely and thoroughly. JFTFP, just follow the fabulous plan. All right. Marianne Lutz says, I registered for boot camp 2.0 and I live in Annapolis, Maryland. I'm so excited to start. Congratulations, Marianne. Welcome to Brightline Eating. I'm so excited that you're excited to start. It's going to be amazing. It's going to blow away even your best expectations. That's my prediction. So glad. Daisy Witch says, Scotland here. Hello, Daisy in Scotland. Amazing. Label work says, I register for every boot camp. Reg repetition is good enforcement. All right. If that's your strategy, I love it. It's, we talk about staying close to the mothership. That's great. That's awesome. Um, all right. Michelle Day says, it was late here in Pennsylvania after all the Q&A, listening to you now while at work. Ah, gotcha, Michelle. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, work is in the mix. The time will open up. The perfect time will open up. Sounds awesome. Thank you for filling me in. Um, Roxanne Wolf is in Eureka, Missouri, says, I'm saving my pennies for June. I would like to find some people support before the June start. Um, I'm curious if we have a Missouri's Brightest. You could look in Facebook. That would be what you would look for. Missouri's Brightest. Look for a group called Missouri's Brightest. There might be one. Diana James says, I was in the webinar, but I fell asleep during it. I woke up to hear the end and my cat was sleeping on me. I'm in Minneapolis. I'm waiting for some money to come in to see. Okay, Diana. Awesome. There is a replay of the webinar that is being sent out to people who registered a replay link. Um, so you can look for that if you want to catch up on what you missed. Uh, Florti. It says, hi from the Netherlands, and I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name, but hello, hello. Uh, I just bought your book. It arrived today, and I started listening to your podcast. Hi, nice to meet you. Wonderful. So glad that you're connecting. Fabulous. Debbie Johnson says, good morning from Virginia. I did watch last night's webinar. It was very informative. I did send a request to customer service to get a link for the brochure to share with family and friends. I'm all signed up. Yeah, you should get that link in your email this morning. And um, welcome to the Brightline Eating Bootcamp, Debbie. You're in the right place. All right. So these were the questions that were sent in on Instagram. Uh, River Edge Homestead says, can I use a prepared foods program alongside bootcamp if it's a 99% match for the rules? For example, very small amounts of honey and almond flour are in some of the sauces for these never frozen, healthy, fresh meals. I just know right now a huge hurdle for me is time to cook meals I will enjoy. So I already signed up for that program and I want to stick with it, but add in community and accountability through the bright lines. So I think you asked me that question last night or someone did. Um, and, and what I said was I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. 
um, here's, here's my, the story in my head is I'm guessing that it's not a good a match as you might be thinking. That's what I'm guessing that the quantities w won't be right. That, um, that's what I'm guessing. Um, and I think the better way to do it would be to do what we call food factory on the weekends and just prepare your meals on the weekends. So we, you have your own prepared uh, foods all through the week. Um, it's easier than you might think to batch cook up a whole bunch of protein, a whole bunch of cooked vegetables, make a lot of salads and little containers and, you know, have your food ready for the week. Um, that's what I would recommend. Um, you've asked me for my opinion. That's my opinion. Um, would doing what you're planning to do be way, way, way better than how most people eat? Would you get some results for it, uh, from it? Almost certainly. So, um, you know, there's the saying of like, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Like if that's all you can do right now and that's how you want to approach it, I would say, um, better do that than nothing for sure. So your call, my dear, we're all self-responsible here in Brightline Eating. There's no Brightline Eating police. So um, if, if, if you won't do it otherwise, like if you just know that you won't do it, then yeah, do it that way. Um, okay. Susan surrounded by greens on Instagram says the timing, how often do you meet up? How does it work? So the way it works, Susan, is that every week you'll get a module of videos that you can watch in an app on your phone or on a laptop or desktop or, or tablet, um, anytime you want. And the videos are pretty short, three to 10 minutes long. And there's a bunch of them. So all together, it would take you maybe an hour and a half to two and a half hours to, to binge watch the whole batch of them. That's called a module. You'll get one of those a week. Um, and you can do that at your, you know, at your best convenient time, right? Um, there will be one live group coaching call per week. I believe those are on Wednesdays, but the time of day rotates throughout uh, it changes up to account for different time zones. Um, you could be on those live if you want, or you can, uh, be on them recorded. They're recorded and you can experience those whenever is convenient for you. Um, other than that, there's the online support community, which is available 24 seven. And that's pretty much how the timing works. Then you're going to connect up with a buddy, with a mastermind group. Those are, you know, connections that you can make when it works for you. So um, that is basically how it works. Now, just keep in mind that the first module is called, well, we actually call it module zero, um, is the planning and preparation process. And it takes about five and a half hours to get through. Now, you've got till a week from Saturday to get through it. So you've actually got um, from today, you know, like 10 days to get through it. Right. So there's no, um, there's no huge rush on that five and a half hours, but that, that beginning part, you won't be able to start your day one and start losing your weight and start really doing the program until you get through that initial planning and preparation process. So just be prepared for a big a chunk of work to do up front to, to get everything set up and get started. So I hope that helps Susan. Um, and a measure of freedom, Krista Harder says, how much FOMO, fear of missing out, can I expect to have this time around? Krista, you're so funny. So Krista, I know you're a bright lifer, of course. And so we've got Reboot Resume happening and Bootcamp 2.0 happening. And it's not wise to do them both at the same time. And so that could mean some fear of missing out. Girlfriend, I suggest you just flip that around. You're like the queen of the, the better mindset on things. So why don't you flip it to Jomo, the joy of missing out, the joy of missing out and revel, choose your program and revel in doing the program that's right for you and just have the joy of knowing that there's a group of people who are having their amazing experience in the other community and you know, you know what they're going through. You've been through something similar and you're just beaming them love and you're not missing out. You're, you've got the joy of doing exactly what's right for you. Exactly what's right for you. So flip it around, girlfriend, flip it around. 
Cynthia says, what are the circles for support? Cynthia, that's such a great question. So um, we used to only have support, uh, like the support, like a uh, community platform, right? In Facebook, but a lot of people aren't in Facebook um, and won't join Facebook. It's about 25 to 35% of our members now just won't be in Facebook. So we've looked high and low and we've found another platform that works pretty darn well. And um, it's called Vibly and you access it through the hub. So it's all built into your community experience. Like it's it's right in the hub. You just go in the sidebar where it says uh, connection and community and you click in there and it takes you to, to a platform where you can post, you can comment, you can like, you can do all the things that you can send direct messages. You can do all the things that you could do in Facebook, but it's, um, it's, it's in our own platform. And what's great about it is that there's different threads called circles uh, that are for different topics. So there's the general community one. Then there's the boot camp one. So if you want to just communicate with people who are in the boot camp right now, you can go to the boot camp circle. We also have a circle for finding a buddy. So that's really helpful. If you want to find a buddy, if you're like, where do I find a buddy? You go to the circle on finding a buddy, on finding a mastermind group, on finding a guide. Um, and what else? Um, we've got a recipe circle as well, where if you want to post pictures of your bright food, if you want to get some good recipes, if you want to share some good recipes, that's a fun one. So we've got these circles on these different topics. And um, yeah, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Uh, Tara Hayes says, it all sounds great, but I just started going down the path of grinding my own grains, ancient grains, and making bread. Hard to let that go. You know, uh, Tara, I'm just curious if you could let it go for the boot camp only. Like, just let it go for a couple months. Just let it go for a couple months. And and tell yourself it's not forever. You're just going to let it go for a couple months. And at some point during the boot camp, get coaching around that. See how the boot camp is working for you. Your brain will heal a bunch. Your brain will heal a bunch. And what I will say is that the odds that um, grinding your own ancient grains and making your own bread will work for your brain, um, uh, it's, it's a non-zero probability is what I'll say. Meaning like, I don't know if it's 50, 50 or what, cause I don't know like what your history with food is, where you are on the food addiction susceptibility scale, what kind of weight struggle you're coming from, what kind of, whether you've ever had an eating disorder background, whether, uh, you've had binge eating disorder, like, like where your relationship with food is at, right. Or where it's been at. Um, but it is possible that that could work for you in the future. And you won't know until you get some healing under your belt, that you let your brain heal a bit, and then you can examine it, right? And, um, you know, grinding your own ancient grains and making bread is a pretty scientific thing to do. It's a pretty exploratory thing to do. It's a pretty off the beaten path thing to do. And so is bright line eating, right? You seem like someone that would be a good fit for this. And so I encourage you to be a scientist about this too, right? And try and just, you know, you're, you're an adult, you know, that two months, two and a half months, it goes by like that, right? The two and a half months will go by whether you do boot camp or not, but you could like, get all the information that you would get doing the boot camp wholeheartedly for two and a half months. And then maybe enter a period of time where you experiment doing bright line eating with your own ancient grains, homemade bread as your grain serving in the morning and see how it works. It might be fine for you. It, it might be fine. So that would be my thought. That would be my thought. All right. Diane O says, how can I stop needing my food to be sexy? You know, Diane, this is the interesting thing about needing your food to be sexy. If you just rip the bandaid off and force your food to be simple for a bit, your brain will stop needing your food to be sexy. 
Um, sexy food begets the need for sexy food. And simple food begets a brain that is perfectly, joyfully content with simple food. So the answer to how you can stop needing your food to be sexy is to exercise your human volition and decide to start making simple food and your brain will follow and catch up. That's how it works. You take the action first and that's how it works. All right. TL to my one G J nine K says, what does boot camp look like? What foods can we eat? Are there recipes? How much time every day to prepare the food? What foods do I need to buy? We live in a rural North area in Northern Canada. Please summarize the expectations for success in weight loss. I don't want to start something that I may fail at. Mm, just give me a second. I got to give my throat a little. So there are recipes. There's the official Brightline Eating Cookbook, Weight Loss Made Simple. Um, and you sound like someone who wants a lot of information about the food before starting. Let me see if I can do my best to give you an outline of it. For breakfast, you're going to have... Um, some protein, some grain, and some fruit. So it might look like um, oatmeal, yogurt, and banana, or um, eggs, potatoes, and a pear, or something like that. For lunch, you're going to have protein, cooked vegetable, and a fruit, and a, or it doesn't have to be cooked, protein and vegetable, fruit and fat. And for dinner, you're going to have protein, cooked vegetable, salad, and salad dressing. And you can have any vegetable, any protein, dairy, meat, plant-based, any of those. You can have any nuts, any seeds, uh, any beans or legumes, any grain, any potato or sweet potato, any whole real food is on the bright, any fruit, any whole fresh real fruit, any vegetable, any whole real food is on the Bright Line Eating Food Plan. So you have a huge variety of foods to choose from. Um, you can take a lot of time every day to prepare your food or very little time. You can get it down to being very simple. So that's really up to you. Um, and yeah, I've already explained the boot camp in this live in terms of, you know, the video modules and things like that. So basically that's how it goes. And keep in mind, if you need more information to make your decision. The thing to do is to sign up for the boot camp and give yourself a two week trial period because there's a hundred percent money back guarantee at the end of two weeks. So you can uh, kick the tires, experience it, see the food plan, see how long it takes, get all of that information and then make your decision two weeks later about whether you're staying in or not. And that's totally fair. So that's what I recommend. Tina Avantis is here from Norway. She says, happy new year, Susan. Day one again and again was so good. Made me do something I never considered before. Starting tomorrow. Hope you feel better soon. Love from Tina in Norway. I'm so glad, Tina. I'm so glad. That's That makes sense that that vlog would have resonated with you. I'm so glad. Lori Allgood says, hi, Susan. I'm back in boot camp because I didn't finish before. I've been bright all year. Well done, Lori. Well done. Whew. Welcome back. Debbie Markowitz says, hello, Susan. I listened to your vlog on day one over and over and it struck a chord. Uh, this vlog was eye-opening for me. I am all in. I'm rolling enrolling in the Reboot Resume class that starts on the 12th. I'm so glad, Debbie. Thank you for letting me know that. That's wonderful. All right. TJ Lyon says there, is there a way to see the more precise allowed and not allowed foods and community guidelines before signing up? For example, what is included in sugars and flours? I heard honey is a no-go, so I assume it includes more than just classic table sugar. Almond flour, what about monk fruit? If fruit is allowed and a banana can seriously spike blood glucose and bring about cravings, how is a teaspoon of honey and tea any worse? Just trying to understand better before I commit. 
Also, are carnivore diets supported in this program if someone feels best without plants? Um, TJ, um, I can answer your question around the sugars and flours. So um, here's the answer. The bright line for sugar means we don't ever eat anything added to food to make it sweeter. So no monk fruit, no honey, um, no agave, no stevia, no truvia, no artificial sweeteners of any kind, no molasses, no maple syrup. Um, and then obviously none of the million forms of sugar, right? Like brown rice syrup, uh, barley malt, um, you know, uh, brown sugar, white sugar, corn syrup, all of those things, right? All of those are, are, are a no, including your monk fruit and your other sweeteners like that. N no sweeteners of any kind. Um, also no fruit juice and also, um, no dried fruit, but whole real fresh fruit is fine. So that's where we draw the line. Your question about a banana. Um, so research shows that whole fresh fruit does not spike blood sugar anywhere near uh, how added sweeteners do. Because of the fiber content of it, actually there's a pretty moderate um, blood sugar curve for whole fresh fruit. And especially if you eat it with a meal, which is what we do, even more moderate. Um, are there people in Brightline eating who say, look, I just can't eat any fruit of any kind? Um, there are, and um, we don't make anyone eat fruit. So you don't have to eat fruit if you don't want to. Could you just eat meat and do Brightline eating? That's a bit of a stretch. Um, I would say that um, I would not do that. I would not do that. I would follow the Brightline Eating Food Plan uh, more, uh, more like it's laid out. Um, so Brightline Eating is not a carnivore food plan. You can eat meat on Brightline Eating, um, but uh, eating some plants too is a good idea. And there's a huge... A uh, huge, huge, huge body of literature, literally thousands of studies showing that eating plants is the healthiest way to go and eating only meat is not going to end well in terms of mortality. Like uh, it's just a, a, it's a pretty fast track to all cause mortality, early all cause mortality. So um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, and also just so you know, not just from a health perspective, but also from a weight loss perspective and from a uh, just a sanity perspective, the body has several ap uh, separate appetites, an appetite being a system that drives you to eat. And we have an appetite for protein, and it's actually the strongest, most dominant appetite. But we also have a separate appetite for carbohydrate. And if you de deprive your body of carbohydrate to that extent, it will cause you to, to eat, to overeat and to binge and to um, uh, feel driven to eat more than you need to eat because you're not getting the carbohydrate that your body needs. Um, and yeah, so I just, I wouldn't recommend it. I think a more balanced macronutrient, um, approach is the way to go. Um, oh, and about flour, all flour is off the plan that includes almond flour. So it includes all flour. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Cynthia says, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm signed up for boot camp, and I was just listening to the video that talked about the circles. Is that something different than Facebook? So I already pretty much answered this. Yes, it is different than Facebook. It works very similarly to Facebook, but it's right inside inside the hub, inside the boot camp website. Um, and it allows you to post and comment and reply and direct message people um, all within our own uh, boot camp hub. Margaret is writing back to that woman from Missouri. She says, we have a Kansas City brightest. We have a Forest State brightest. We have several groups in Missouri. Thank you, Margaret, for letting her know. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Um, so I assume those are Facebook groups and she should be looking for Kansas City's brightest and Forest State's brightest in Facebook. Great. 
Pink Skies says, hi, Susan. I've been in Brightline Eating since it was moved to the new membership system. This is my year to finally do it. Um, is there a way to get the weekly emails uh, January 6th to start as if I were a new member? Pink Skies, yes, there is. And it will be available to you on Friday. So look for look for the link on Friday. It will be in the sidebar. So when you're logged into your Bright Lifers website, the sidebar, that column of, of orange links that's along the side, um, look there and you'll see a link to uh, get the emails for the bootcamp. So great. Okay. Um, Debbie Markowitz um, says she's going to listen to the webinar. She fell asleep after a long day at work and she's reading the resume book. Awesome. Rachel Adams says, I would love bright fermented food recommendations. I'm recovering from chronic fatigue syndrome and this was recommended. I'm not sure if you answered this last night. Sorry if it's a repeat. No worries, Rachel. So yeah, I eat fermented foods a lot. So, um, oh my gosh, you can ferment so many things. You can do it yourself. You can buy it at the grocery store, fermented beets, sauerkraut, um, uh, tempeh is great. Natto is really great. Fermented soybeans is one of the healthiest foods you can eat. It's pretty nasty. It takes some, it's an acquired taste. It takes some, takes some getting used to. Um, but I'm thinking like vegetables, like carrots, onions, beets, cabbage, and then, um, and then tempeh is great. Miso, you can use, I mean, it's super salty, but you can use that as a protein. Wendy Marie says, thank you for the advice. I've been BLE since 2017 and I've never lost all the weight, but it has changed my life in other areas. I think I'm going to register for boot camp too with a beginner's mind. I love it, Wendy. That sounds right on to me. Right on. Boot camp 2.0 with a beginner's mind. Perfect. I don't know if you felt it. I felt a real settling in my system when you said that. Feels really right, doesn't it? I'm excited for you. AJ says, how much is Reboot Resume or is it included in the monthly membership? Also, is two ounce of plant-based milk considered a condiment now? I heard talk of this happening, but I couldn't find it written anywhere. So I'm not sure if this talk uh, or change was implemented. Um, Reboot Resume is included in the Bright Lifers membership. And um, we did not make two ounces of plant-based milk a condiment. Um, it just uh, lends itself too much to eating outside of mealtimes, adding it to milk, uh, to coffee or tea, and then nursing that beverage outside of mealtime. And it's just a, it's like a gateway drug, if you will, to, to uh, eating outside of mealtime. So, nope. Um, all right. So XLR Cables says, when is day one? January 6th. Okay, let me make it clear how starting the boot camp happens. Um, there are some ceremonies, like opening day ceremonies, to kick off the boot camp. That opening day ceremony is happening Saturday, January sixth, at three p.m. Eastern. It happens live. It will be recorded. It will be just as good recorded. You can watch it recorded if you want to. But that's the opening ceremonies. That is not when you have to have your day one. Lots of people in the boot camp have already gotten in. They've already registered. They've already had their day one. They're on their day one now. Who knows when they're on their day one? Who knows when you will have your day one? You will register for the boot camp. You'll do the planning and preparation process, which I've warned you is a lot of work. It's about five and a half hours worth of serious work. It's not hard work. It's just a chunk of effort, right? And as soon as you finish that and do your grocery shopping and get clear on the food plan and know what you're going to eat for the next day, you'll get to a place where you're like, okay, I'm ready to have my day one tomorrow, whenever that is. It could be January 4th. It could be January 10th. It could be whenever it is, right? And then we have a, a set of videos and, and a meditation called the day one experience. It's about half an hour. And you'll do that on your day one. You'll have your day one whenever you have it. So I hope that helps to explain the difference between 
the kickoff call for the beginning of the boot camp, which happens on January 6th, which is just an opening ceremony. And then, uh, and, and like a, it's also like an orientation call, right? I show you around the hub so you kind of know how it all works. Um, and you will have your day one. Everyone has it on their own timeline when they get through the planning and preparation process and then have their day one experience. Chrissy Smith says, good morning, beautiful lady. Does the mastermind group contain a BLE person of experience to advise and educate us newbies? Staying up right after, signing up right after this live. Well, first of all, Chrissy Smith, I'm a fan of you. <laughs> Anyone who dresses me, who addresses me, good morning, beautiful lady, is someone who's already near and dear to my heart. Um, so no, a mastermind group is a group of peers and it does not include an experienced person to support you. Uh, it does not need that. And, you know, there might be such a person in the group who happens to need a mastermind group and, and joins up with you, but more often it will be a group of people starting around the same time and it will be peer, peer to peer support. Um, the kind of support you're thinking of, you would get on a coaching call you would get in a group way by posing a question in the online support community, either place, either the, the, the one inside our platform or the one in Facebook, either way, you'd get great answers. There's tons of experienced people who love to support and encourage new beginners. So you'll be fine in terms of that, but that's not the role of a mastermind group. Um, <clears throat> all right. Vidya Sagar. Kumar says, hello, respected ma'am, humble request to share some more raw fruits for better gut health issues with gallbladder, chronic cystitis issues, and huge underweight issues. Um, so bright line eating might not help you with underweight issues. It depends on why you're underweight. It might help you get the discipline that you need to weigh and measure your food and make sure you're eating enough calories. It can do that because structured eating is really helpful. And if your goal is to, is to gain weight, um, you probably need to be eating more than you're eating and bright line eating could help you do that. Or research shows that often people are underweight because they've got food addiction, but it manifests in restricting behaviors and they're not eating enough as part of their food addiction, um, interestingly. Uh, the two BMI categories that are most likely to have food addiction are underweight and class three obesity. Those are the two, the two ends of the extreme, but um, food addiction can manifest in all kinds of different ways. And bright line eating can, of course, help with that. Um, so um, in terms of sharing more about raw fruits and gut health, it's not my area of expertise. I don't know anything about gallbladder chronic cystitis, so you're going to need to work with your doctor on that. So anyway, I don't know if that helps, but those are my thoughts. Um. Debbie Markowitz says, I have two buddies now and I'm new to a mastermind group. What is a good way to deal with my isolator part that is creating anxiety over taking time for having my buddies and my mastermind group? The, so the best way to deal with that, Debbie, is to be curious, to be curious about that isolator part and use the 13 minute meditation, which you can use as a, as a meditation or as a series of journaling prompts in the Breakthrough Your Resistance Roadmap module. So get into the boot camp, go into the Breakthrough Your Resistance bonus, and then look for the 13 minute meditation and go find that part using that meditation and, and meet them and be curious about them and let them tell you why they're anxious. That part of you is anxious for a very good reason. So your job now is to be open-hearted, and compassionate, and soft, and curious, and go find out why. And there probably is a very reasonable reason and something to be done about it that you'll figure out with that part. You'll co-create a path forward with that part. 
Hadija Iman says, yesterday, January 2nd, was my BLE day one. Oh, Khadija, welcome to Brightline Eating. Congratulations on your day one. I've seen you at so many of these live events, and I'm so, so happy that you've had your day one. That's so exciting, my dear. So, so sweet. Thank you for letting me know so I could celebrate with you. Woohoo! Woohoo! So sweet. Um... Emily Marnie says, this is the easiest whole food plan I have ever seen. It feels like the food plan that every doctor told me to follow with the amount that I should consume. Emily, I love that comment. Thank you so much. You know, um, it's so funny because I forget where this was, but um, I think I stumbled into some group that was talking about bright line eating, but it happened to have like online somewhere, but it happened to have a lot of people, I guess, who'd done bright line eating. Cause someone said, how could you ever do this when it's so hard? And then there were like hundreds, maybe even a thousand comments of people saying, it's not hard. It's the easiest food plan I've ever done. I've tried to lose weight all kinds of different ways and all kinds of different times. And this food plan made it so easy. This is, and just comment after comment after comment. This is the easiest food plan I've ever done. It makes so much sense. It becomes so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. And uh, it was kind of mind blowing for me to experience that, you know, because I don't know how, you know, uh, I mean, it's easy for me, but that does, you know, I, I, I do think, well, this is pretty involved and, you know, no sugar, no flour. That's certainly extreme. And, you know, like, but it was so interesting to see all these people be like, this is so easy. So yeah, thank you for sharing that, Emily. It's, uh, you're not alone in that perspective. And it, you know, on the one hand, it's like giving up sugar and flour is so extreme. And it's like, those foods shouldn't exist anyway, right? If we didn't have factories making foods, if we just, just grew food, you know, like if, if, if there weren't a whole industrial complex perverting our food and selling it to us in plastic bags, we wouldn't have to be having this conversation, right? The only thing we're saying is don't eat, don't eat edible factory industrial products, right? So it's really not that extreme. You eat every whole real food in bright line eating. So Daisy Witch says. I drink so much coffee with unsweetened almond milk all day long. Does it have to be cut out apart from at the three meal times? Yep, I'm a 10 plus, 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 plus on the susceptibility scale. Daisy Witch, I got news for you, my dear. It needs to be cut out at mealtime too. You're going to need to stop putting almond milk in your coffee ever, period, full stop today. Rip the Band-Aid off. Don't ever have it again. Don't have a final cup of it now. Dump a bit, dump it down the drain. You're done. It will be the thing that keeps you from succeeding. And the number of pluses you just put after that 10 is very telling, my dear. It's very telling. It's very telling. I'm not going to tell you you have to give up your coffee entirely. Try to cut it back to a cup or two. Um, if you can't do that, you may end up having to give up coffee altogether, but definitely it has to be black. There's no doubt in my mind about that. I'm so sorry. Allow yourself to grieve that. I know that that's, a, that's sorry, but it's true. All right. Ezekiel questions. Stephanie H says, hi, I just joined bootcamp 2.0 last night. Woohoo. Where do we find the brochure to share with family members? Check your email for that. Um, also is Ezekiel bread or cereal BLE friendly. Thanks. The cereal is, the bread is not, uh, at least not during the boot camp. That's something you could consider adding in in the future, maybe, but definitely not during the boot camp. Sally Connor says, um, what about bread made from sprouted grains, such as Ezekiel bread? Is this okay on Brightline Eating? Um, I would not do that during the boot camp. Suzanne Marie says, hi, food has been my false friend that I self-medicated with. Well, you're not alone there, Suzanne. My depression gets very bad when I give it up. Um, traumas, et cetera, in the past. The pain is real. Eating disorder, et cetera. Can I do group coaching with Dr. Joy? Um, you can, and I would recommend it. And I hope you will, I, I'm wondering if you have a personal therapist as well. 
And you're going to need to do all of it, sweetheart. You're going to need to immerse yourself in the Bright Line Eating community and the Bright Line Eating experience, get a mastermind group, get a few buddies and have a therapist and use coaching with Dr. Joy, all of it. That's how we, that's how we recover, you know, and you're not alone. You're not alone. Like, um, I'm also someone who comes from a history of a lot of depression um, and a lot of inner issues and, and used food to medicate for a long time. You're not alone. As a matter of fact, you're probably more the norm than the exception around here, honestly. So I hear you. I hear you. Bree Staten says, any advice for folks who can't afford the boot camp and also didn't get in through the scholarship this time? I've been doing BLE alone and wanted to join for the community and to have a support bar. Also, I've been watching your vlogs for a few months and I love you and your brain. Oh, hi, Bree Staten. So sweet. So yeah, I would go back to that um, email that we sent you that said that you didn't get into the scholarship. And there's a paragraph there that lists your options. I'd go back there and take it one little suggestion at a time and just sit with it and say, does this feel right for me? Does this feel right for me? Does this feel right for me? And just, you know, I'm so sorry that we didn't give you a scholarship this time. We might next time, you never know, definitely put in your application all the things that you're doing, you know, um, uh, and that you applied last time and so forth. So yeah, I would, um, that's what I would do. Go back to that email that we sent you because we sent you a list of options and just listen to your deep inner wisdom around what's your best next move. So much love, my dear. So much love. Rachel Adams says, I'm curious about your perspective on fat servings on the plan as it relates to hormone health, especially as ladies and those of us in menopause. I've added more fat to maintenance to feel my best. And thank you for your recommendations on fermented foods. Do you know of any bright forms of kombucha or kefir? Uh, any I've seen have alcohol or sugar, so not bright, but wondering if there are any you know of. I don't know of any. Um, I don't know of any. That doesn't mean there aren't any. I just don't know. It's not something that I personally uh, do. Um, and... Um, yeah, for, I'm, I'm in a really rocky period of perimenopause right now. I did, I, I hardly had any periods for like a year and a half. And now I've had three periods in a row. I don't know what my body's doing and I'm finding, um, some bioidentical hormone supplementation of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, all bioidentical. Two of them are creams that I rub on. And one of them is a pill that I take at night. And oh my gosh, it's making a world of difference. Um, of course, hormones do have a very important relationship with fat. And um, if you've upped your fat in maintenance to feel your best, I think that's great. Some people find they feel better on less fat. It's so interesting. People are so, so individual. Um, so I would say my comments are do what works for you, work with your doctor. Uh, it is a thing you know? Um, yeah. So those are my comments on that. Marna Murray says, uh, if bright line eating is best for people who are a seven, eight, nine, or 10 on the susceptibility scale, what do you recommend for people who are on other parts of the susceptibility scale? Marna, that's a great question. Because of course, plenty of people who are ones through sixes on the food addiction susceptibility scale still have weight to lose. Um, and would benefit from a lot of the inner work um, that we do through internal family systems. You could get an internal family systems coach or therapist and do the inner work that way. Um, in terms of weight loss, I don't know of a lot. Uh, there aren't there aren't options out there that I honestly recommend that wholeheartedly. Um, I will say we absolutely don't forbid you to sign up for bright line eating. It's more of a warning that the way we do things in bright line eating is really tailored for people who are highest on the scale. And if you join, you're just going to need to know that um, you'll be 
you'll be in a minority and you might feel like it, like you, it might, you might notice like, oh, not most people around here aren't like me when it comes to food. Um, but there are, there are other people who are in bright line eating right now successfully and happily who are lower on the scale. And you could reach out and ask um, in the community to find those people and to partner up with them to have support that, um, is already experienced in translating the program in a way that works for them. Um, I'll keep thinking about that question, Marna, because I actually don't have a good answer for you in terms of what I would recommend. I, I'm actually pretty, um, I don't know what the word is, unimpressed, I guess, with the weight loss options that are out there. Um, they just don't have great track records. Like it's just hard for me to having seen the data to honestly recommend Noom or Weight Watchers or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. Um, XLR Cables says there is sugar in most salad dressings. What dressings are good to use? Um, I never use salad dressing. I use olive oil and balsamic vinegar and some nutritional yeast. That's what I put on my salad. Um, sometimes some lemon juice, but I use all, I use my own extra virgin olive oil. That way I know I'm getting a good oil. Um, because the other thing about most salad dressings is they're made with terrible oils, like toxic oils. And so I don't do that to my body. Um, there is a Newman's own, and you can get this on Amazon, I think, and, uh, I'm assuming you're in the United States, but uh, a Newman's own um, avocado and olive oil Greek dressing that's pretty high quality. I would recommend that and it doesn't have sugar in it. AJ says, hello again. I was wanting to have a Zuki beans with butternut squash for lunch after listening to one of your vlogs, but I still have a good 20 pounds to lose. And I know that butternut squash is one of the heavier veggies. I wouldn't worry about that. You could have that every day. It's fine. You really can. You can have that every day. It's fine. Uh, just make sure that you have a green veggie at night, spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, you know, that kind of thing at night. Make sure that you have a, 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 a yeah. Um, Ana Hernandez, any advice for breastfeeding moms and starting bright line eating, get into the boot camp. get coaching, work with us closely. You're going to need more calories. Um, that's my advice. Get into the boot camp and get coaching. Don't start the food plan until you get coaching from us. All right. Some quick closing comments here. Thank you, everyone. Jen Mitch says, good morning from Las Vegas. I'm bringing my husband home from the hospital today. Seeing his health struggles, we are both diabetic, has been an eye opener. I am off diabetes meds now because of Brightline Eating. Jen, we're all just with you in our hearts and our spirits, just loving you. And uh, congratulations on getting off your diabetes meds. And yeah, nothing brings what we're doing home like um, a real health scare, right? So yeah, sending love to you, sending love. It's a big deal. Um, MDK says, I thought you said last night that people have 11 days before they get module one. So you're having the final celebration call and the opening ceremony all in one day this Saturday? Okay, so MD, MDK, you're confused. That's okay. Let me explain. Um, this Saturday, we're having the opening ceremonies for this boot camp that we've been talking about. Boot camp 2.0 that starts in January is opening. And that's this Saturday. All right. And module one for that boot camp won't be released and available until the following Saturday, which means that people will have 10 or 11 days, right, between now and a week from Saturday to do the planning and preparation module, module zero. And there's also going to be the breakthrough your resistance roadmap bonus that there's tons of inner work you can do breaking through resistance of all kinds. And also on Saturday with the opening ceremonies, the full flourishing life bonus, all about navigating family and friends and social situations, that bonus is going to become available. So you'll be able to work through that. 
Um, but module one won't be released till a week from Saturday. So that's all about this boot camp, right? Um, the final celebration call uh, is for the boot camp that was that started in um, in October. And maybe you're not confused because maybe that is happening on Saturday because I'm doing the Bright Lifers invitation the next day on Sunday. Um, yeah, so it could be that the that the final celebration call front, that would be ironic if the final, cell. I think I'm not sure when the final celebration call is from October's boot camp, but nobody here needs to worry about that, right? Like if you're in that boot camp, check your calendar and it'll, it'll be on there. So I don't know if that helps, right? Like we we offered a boot camp in October that's wrapping up now. So that's the thing. It's a whole different cohort of people. They started boot camp 2.0 in October and they're finishing. Um, Rachel Adams says, oh, your love and care radiates through the screen. Thank you for being you and bringing this program to so many. I love sharing it with my over 50s personal training clients. Love to you and all. Rachel, you're so sweet. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you for that acknowledgement. Healthy looks good on you. This is our Brightline Eating brand ambassador, Linnea Offerman, says hello from Cedar Rapids. I'm a Brightline Eater for three plus years. Uh, and being a Brightline Eater for ten, three plus years as a 10 plus plus on the scale is life-changing. Brightline Eating is life-changing. Loving my food sober life. Hey, Linnea. Hey, love you, sweetie. Great job. Khadija Iman says, hi, Dr. Pierce Thompson. I'm sending you tons of hugs and gratitude your way. I cannot begin to express how grateful I am. You and Brightline Eating have come into my life at the time that I needed this. Yay. And Beverly Thrasher gets the final word, says, love Brightline Eating. Fabulous. All right. I'm so happy my voice hung in there. I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. I was able to answer every question. Just love it. Love you. Now what's next is you've got a couple days here to register for the boot camp, and registration will close on Friday night. We will do our final celebration closing party for registration on Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. Um and that will be a live Q&A and your last chance to register. So we're doing something different. We've never done this before. We're closing registration with a live event and registration will close earlier than it usually does. You will not have till the end of Friday night to register. Registration will close at 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday. So get your registration in before that and boot camp will kick off the next day. All right. Love you all so much. There is an amazing, amazing replay available for the webinar. If you want to catch that, um, let's see uh, if you're, okay, we don't have the link for that right here, but I believe if you go to ble.life forward slash bright you, B-R-I-G-H-T-Y-O-U. Uh, ble.life forward slash bright you, you will get the links to all the wonderful things for these food freedom uh, events, ble.life forward slash bright you, B-L-E dot life, L-I-F-E forward slash bright, B-R-I-G-H-T, U, Y-O-U. That is where you get access to everything that's happening right now. The food freedom videos, video one, video two, video three, video four. Video four explains all about the boot camp. Access to the, the um, webinar replay that I did. Access to all these YouTube lives that I've done. Access to the Q&As that I've done. Um, it's all right there if you want to access it. And then, then, of course, you can sign up for the boot camp as well. So you'll need to just anything you want to experience or consume. We've got all of this out there for free. It's really a college level education on the psychology and neuroscience of truly sustainable weight loss. We've got weight loss results that are unmatched in the entire world, right there neck and neck with these amazing new weight loss drugs, right? But without taking drugs, 
Um, or take the drugs and do bright line eating too and get the double whammy support. Like that's totally fair. That's totally fair. Weight loss is a beast. I get it. Um, or come to bright line eating if you want to wean off those drugs, like so many options. But um, really, if you look at the data, these are the only two games in town, bright line eating or semaglutide drugs um, for weight loss. Like that's, that's all that really works these days. So um, yeah, you're in the right place. And if you want to do it without a pharmaceutical solution, bright line eating is the way to go. Um, Cheryl Backy Martin says, Cheryl Martin says, from one who is just wrapping up their boot camp to all who are new, this will be the best decision you ever make for yourself. Oh, Cheryl, so sweet. Cheryl Martin, thank you for weighing in, my dear. Thank you for weighing in. All right. Lots of love to you all. I'll see you on the final uh, the final party closing registration down on Friday night. I'm going to rest my voice until then. Lots of love, everyone. Thanks for being with me. Bye now.